What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy XIV and we are continuing. I have skipped ahead, obviously. We decided that was the best idea to skip ahead a little bit and that's exactly what has happened here. I can show you if we go to the completed quests. This is all the different quests that we completed. Um, not rushing through, but I think we completed like Duty Honor... I think we completed from like here down or something like that. I don't know. We completed a fair amount of it. I had notes somewhere, but obviously I redid my whole room and whatnot. And unfortunately, I don't know where that she... It was a notepad. I don't know where that notepad went. All my other notepads, I found them except for the one that I needed pretty much. I literally found everything else other than that, which is the craziest part. I have to remember how to play this game. It's been a while. It's been like a week since I played this. It's going to be crazy when I get back on ESO, which... Note, I'm going to mention this in a lot of videos. First Elder Scrolls Online video is coming Friday. Friday morning, 11 a.m. The first Elder Scrolls Online video is coming. But it's gonna be an absolute nightmare when I get back on that because it's been like two weeks since I played ESO. All right, back to Mamodi. This is where we are now. I need to speak to Mamodi at the quicksand. Welcome back, Ragaza, and congratulations on your invite to the big soiree. Oh yeah, we're going to a soiree. We're going to a party. To be honest, I never imagined I'd be explaining these procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignitaries who get to hear me prattle on and on about royal traditions. Any road, I know you're a busy woman, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient customs, all guests to this banquet are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings, earrings, made specially for the occasion. They're meant to symbolize, actually, forget about that. This was meant to be the short version. <clears throat> Being of a design unique to the occasion, the earrings serve as a security measure. The Sultan Soren won't let you near the hall without him. Your set should be ready and waiting for you at the Goldsmith's Guild. Mistress Serendipity is expecting you, so you'll want to head down there now. Once you've got him, bring them back here and we'll continue. Oh boy, I'm so glad I decided to resume recording when we're going to be running around. Why is the sprint thing stuck up? Okay. Um, that's the wrong button. Let's see, where is... Okay, so we need to go... Alright, so I need to go out and over. Go this way. And I still get to have a little bit of a challenging combat because all of the special encounters, they scale your level down to where the appropriate top of the level should be. And so that's really nice. I, I While I do miss out on, like, some stuff being overleveled, I don't miss out on, like, everything by being level 60. It just helps me clear, like, the simple mobs and avoid um, level barriers to certain stuff. And normally I'd be all about, you know, level barriers and having to grind to catch up and stuff like that, but we don't have five bajillion years for me to be getting stuck having to grind for four hours. I'm so excited for Shadowbringers and elsewhere. Shadowbringers for this, elsewhere for... Uh, ESO, I'm so excited for those things to come out. Okay. Do that, and here we are at the Goldsmiths Guild. Hello, Serendipity. Greetings, is there something I can help you with? Ah, Ragaza, your earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I'll have you know, I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mistress Mamodi didn't warn you, the box is locked, and I am not permitted to give you the key. It's a final safeguard, you see. Only designated individuals are authorized to distribute the earrings to guests. In this instance, the person in question is none other than Mistress Mamodi, so you will need to ask her to open the box on your behalf. Pardon the inconvenience, but the Sultan Soren take her grace's safety very seriously. Alright, back to Mamodi we go. I think I can figure out. I, I don't need the map up. We can get back there. But yeah, this is how the Final Fantasy episodes are going to go from now on. Uh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to make them better or anything like that. But 
while we grind towards Shadowbringers, this is how I feel like is the best way to do this. These won't be every day. I'm hoping to do them every other day. Uh, and some days, if I plan to do them every other day, some episodes will repeat. Like, they'll be right after, like, the next episode after this will not be the same. Um, but, like, I might end an episode and start the next episode with what we had ended the previous episode with, just because time constraints, I mean, if I'm trying to get videos out daily, that's going to happen from, from time to time. Where am I going? Just a heads up that that is a possible, that's a possible thing that could end up happening. Picked up your earrings yet, Regaza? Yes, ma'am. Let me just, oh. Well, now looks like the Guildmaster outdid herself with this pair. You'd best take good care of these earrings. If they fell into the wrong hands, gods only know what might happen. Now then, I hope you're feeling sociable, Ragaza, because you're about to hobnob with the oldest elites. Uh, let me know when you're ready to head to the banquet. I am ready. I am ready to go. This is it, Ragaza, your big debut in olden high society. The banquet is being held at the Fragrant Chamber. Head over to the Royal Promenade, and Bartholomew will show you in. Uh, oh, but be sure to put on your earrings first, or he'll send you packing. Right, well, I reckon that's everything. Try not to let all the pomp and ceremony get to you. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. Okay, so we gotta put on our earrings. Ears. Here we go. Voice of just. Is this? Yeah. Voice of just. Ceremonial earrings. How much do I lose on that? I'll lose ten of my whatever those are. Okay. Where are we going? We need to go. Do we really need to go to Central Thanalan? I don't think so. Hustling strip. We need to go up here. So, where is that? We need to go out and around and down. Okay. Not that way. Gotta go out. Is it this? Yeah, it's out this. Well, actually, we can go out this door over here. It's probably quicker. Let's go out this door. And turn this way. Guess we can sprint. Okay, should be up these stairs. I might be wrong. It might have been to the right. If it was to the right, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, it looks like it was, it was to the right. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Okay. How long is it going to stay on the steps of Nold? I think it's right here, maybe? No? It's hard to tell on... Um, on some of these things where it's trying to tell you. Went to L1. No, hold on. Oh, okay. I see it. I got it. So we want to go out. We got to go. Got to go around this way. Let's go ahead and sprint. Is it right here? Is this where? This is where we need to go. All right. Hopefully. Oh, maybe. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Well, I'll figure, I'll figure this out eventually. Hmm. Let's go back outside. Sarah. See, this isn't right. I don't want to go... Oh my gosh. How am I messing this up so bad? Can't tell... I, 
I can't I can't really I can't tell where that is. I can't I can't I really can't I think it's here. It's this one that goes oh my gosh, dude. The struggle. The freaking struggle, dude. I'm royally messing this up. What an episode! What an episode of me getting lost. So glad you all could tune in to watch me get lost. Oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh. Do I need to go to the whole hustling strip? Yeah, I need to go to the hustling strip. Okay. Or the husting strip, not hustling. Husting strip. All right. Well, that was a momentary moment of <laughs> atrociously getting lost. Oh, well, at least we found where I was going. It's all that really matters. Just figure out where the heck you're going. All right, here we go. Hello, Bartholomew. A banquet hosted by Her Grace, the Sultana, is due to begin shortly. Attendance is by invitation only, and please make sure please make way for arriving guests. We are honored to receive you, my lady. Please proceed inside. That seems like one of those things where, like, you you figure out you're gonna go to the ball, you don't put your earrings on, you come back, and you go there, and it's like, oh. We're not going to let you in. And then you forget that you don't have your earrings on. <laughs> what? <laughs> All hail the Sultana. Okay, I have to click through this. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it would auto play. Your grace. Raubon. By right of the royal house of Ul, I, Nanamo, 17th of my line, have summoned you here. We are graced this day by the presence of a hero to Ulda, and dear friend to the crown. Honored guests, I give you our champion! And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast. Not to spoil your appetite, but Ulda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets. Nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the Syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Ulda. But there is so much more to do. Don't look at his mouth because it does not go along with what he's saying at all. That light, what is it? So bright, almost like... By the Twelve. Tell me true. Have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether? Yes, you are like they were. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the Primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Guardian Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three Grand Companies. And they stood with us at Cartano, 
That fateful day five years ago. The day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them, and of what you might achieve. You must protect that crystal. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, Mother of All. Why did and one she gave to you for a reason. Why did you just skip that dialogue for no reason? My hand's like this. I I'm like not even close to pressing the X button. Ah. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. I wish when I got a headache I saw visions of anything other than waking up with my head, with, with feeling groggy. It's like always what happens. I get a headache, I go to sleep, because that's like the only way that I get rid of headaches. I have to sleep. No medicine works, really. I just have to go to sleep. So I go to sleep and I wake up and I just feel like absolute trash. Like my headache's gone, but like my, I just feel like trash. I would take these weird visions. I'd be cool with that. Flames to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Oh, oh, bloody hells! The barrier won't go down so easily! Eyes forward! Hmm. We are being watched. Is that like we're always being watched by the mysterious dude in this game? Raging Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Ah! Ah! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Oh, that that right there was some uh <laughs> was not the great greatest voice acting. Damn it! 
Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. Is that an upside down pig? I will not forsake Louis Soi! General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! They couldn't have voice acted that one dude saying. The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This is a this is a fire cutscene. This dark, stifling presence. Who? Or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Oh, here we go. Kazbamul, so ginin moise donzul. Logalo Asawad Deken Bed Mubut Imarat Way Kiskatoga Hads Wadl Dorns Seas Nigem Fizdun the only lamb rides a die dawn. <laughs> See, that was some pretty good voice acting right there. That was much better than Rob, Robon. Oh, look, we passed out again. That's how, that's how we wake up from every cutscene. How are you feeling, Ragaza? I guess we're just doing cutscenes in this episode. That's cool. That's cool. We'll get to main stuff. We'll have fighting in the next episode. They said you fainted in the middle of one of the general stories. I had to have you carry back to the hourglass. I reckon you made quite an impression on your fellow guests, though. Probably not the sort you intended. You sure you're getting enough rest, Ragaza? The life of an adventure can be pretty taxing. Any road, I'm glad to see you're back to normal. No offense, but looking after you was getting a bit tiresome. Oh, before I forget, the general left a message for you. Said that when you're feeling up to it, you should come and see him at the Fall of Flames. Probably wants to finish the story he was telling you when you fell asleep. Alright, so that is where we are going to call it. I think that's a good spot to call it. And, uh... That would mean in the next episode, we will go... Well, I don't know what we'll do in the next episode. The next episode may be, may be speaking with Ra Raban. 
Uh, but it could be something completely different. I'm not going to make any promises, but we'll have another episode very shortly. Um, these will always come out at 11 a.m. The Witch playthrough, this ESO, they come out at 11 a.m. Check back uh, in the next day or so for another episode of Final Fantasy XIV, and I will catch you all later. Peace.